Yes, it's your girl Petty Page back at it again with yet another video for you hoes. Now, today we're going to be talking about somebody completely different and somebody completely new to our channel. We are going to be talking about Altoria and her Christmas advent calendar scandal. If you don't know about this scandal, I'm about to break it down to you. Stay tuned after this intro. Y'all ready? Let go. More money, I want your money, I want more money, I want your money. More money, I want your money, I want more money, I want your money. Once upon a time, not long ago, I was a hoe. And I'm admitting it, I won't take it back. Cause I did this shit, I was a hoe. And I'm admitting it, I won't take it back. Cause I did this shit, I was a hoe. More money, I want your money, I want more money, I want your money. More money, I want your money, I want more money. Because we're from Britain, okay? We don't spill tea, we drink it. Okay, so today's story is kind of wild, kind of ludicrous. I've got some of the receipts, not all of them. I haven't got all the receipts that I would like to have for this video. I'll be telling you why I don't have all of the receipts, but hopefully what I've been able to find out thus far will be enough to suppress your receipt-having appetite. Altoria has found herself in a little bit of controversy recently when she decided to put out her very own advent calendar for the Christmas season. The only problem with this calendar is that people didn't get what they were expecting. In fact, a lot of people think that she may have been pawning off her old PR into these boxes for people to purchase at a fee. If you are just as passionate as I am about consumerism, then you will understand why I feel so very strongly about this story. But as per usual, as Altoria is very new to my channel, I will be breaking down who she is for you in 60 seconds. Altoria is a 20 something YouTuber from the southwest of England in Bristol. Altoria is a twin. She has a twin sister as well as two other brothers. Altoria is most well known for her unboxing videos and most notably her calendar unboxing videos that she does around Christmas time. Although she likes to do unboxings, calendars aren't the only kind of box it is that she unboxes on her channel. She also does monthly subscriptions as well as her regular PR unboxings. She is a beauty and lifestyle YouTuber and a lot of people have compared her to Zoella. So much in fact that she even made a video where she copied Zoella's lookbooks over the course of a year. Altoria also has a pig called Milo. I think he's like one of those micro pigs or something. And it has a husband fiance he really needs to learn how to shut his mouth and i'll get straight into all of him later she is a blogger with her beauty and lifestyle blog altoria.com which she has won numerous awards for including being nominated and winning one of the uk blogger awards altoria is also a university graduate and she has a degree in law in which she had a 2-1 in it so that's like above average i guess Hi, my name is Altoria and today I am here at the University of Reading where I graduated three years ago. So here at the Henley Business School is where I first started my business, Altoria, which is an online platform. So why don't you come and discover yourself at the Henley Business School? It's such a fantastic place. I had such a good time here. Bitch, are you okay? You're speaking like a robot. Are you, are you okay? Do, do you need help? Blink if you need help. Damn. She is part Italian, five foot four point five inches tall, and also has a UK British size five feet. Don't ask me how I know this information. I just do, okay? Right, now that we've got all of that out of the way, let's get straight into the drama. So as I explained in my 60 second rundown, Altoria is very much known for her calendar unboxings that she tends to do every single year. However, this year she decided that she was going to put out her own boxes and a lot of her subscribers were down with and digging the idea. Well, first of all, the boxes retailed for approximately 50 pounds, which in the US I think is around $80. So these were some damn expensive boxes. I'm just saying. But people were guaranteed that they would receive some really good products which were valued at more than the price of the box. So it's kind of like those mystery boxes that you see online that you don't know what you're gonna get. But true to Altoria's style, she decided to unbox them on her channel and a lot of people who received these boxes decided to do unboxings on their channels too. Sounds cute, right? What could possibly go wrong with that? One might think. Well, basically all hell broke loose on social media when a bunch of people started unboxing some of the items from her calendar box and what they received was not 
quite what they expected. Now I have to make this note straight away before I go any further that a lot of the receipts were deleted. Altoria deleted her unboxing video of her unboxing all of the items that you could possibly get from this calendar box. I think there was a total of two videos regarding it and she deleted both of them. So I can't show you any clips from the original video that she posted. And for the life of me, nobody that I've been able to find on social media actually has a copy of that video because for the most part, Altoria has been a pretty unproblematic YouTuber. So there were several different things that you could receive in this advent calendar box. Some of it beauty products, some of it makeup products, some of it makeup brushes, some of it body and bath melts, and all, as she explained, sourced from local companies or companies that she has affiliations with. One of the biggest products that she promoted that may be, and I have to make this explicitly clear, may be a part of the package that you receive, but it might not be, is the blood sugar palette from Jeffree Star. Well, this was a massive selling point to everyone who wanted to buy the Altoria boxes. So a lot of people scrambled to buy it and within just under 48 hours, she sold out her entire stock. Let's take a look at what soon to be Wilson said about her box that she received from Altoria. Let's take a look. Most products when they're new get a hygiene seal on it. And this lip balm guys, I don't know where it's from. I've never heard of the brand before but it doesn't really look like something I want to be putting on my lips. It looks dried out and old, if you ask me. Every Star Blood Sugar Palette, which every other mystery item had like some alternatives with it, whereas the Blood Sugar Palette didn't, which led me a little bit misleading and others a little bit misleading that they were thinking that they were actually going to get that Blood Sugar Palette. It's safe to say I have him because I can tell by the shape of it. Guys, are you kidding me? Like, no. I've just opened, literally just opened this package on camera for you and this brush is open. And it's got dirt on the packaging. I've literally just opened it. It's covered in some red stuff on the packaging down here. I don't know how well that's picking up. But this is not a brand new item. Whether it's in a packet or not, it's not brand new. And I've also got a, another item which which hasn't got a seal on it, like, this is a natural lift highlighter pen, beauty edit by Mayfair, a brow lift something or other, no seal, and I've never known a product come, which has been brand new, with this weird flat top on it, it's products come with a point on them when they've been this looks like it could have potentially been swatched and then chopped off on the ends. Could be wrong. Correct me if I am wrong. I'm not I'm not happy with that though. Looks like looks like there's some missing. The most underwhelming advent calendar I think I've ever opened. Day number 12 better have something good in it. I'm I'm literally li like Okay, so I can't even I feel like I want to cry. I honestly feel like I want to cry. I can't even tell you what this product is because it's not in English. What is this? What even is this? To be used exclusively in conjunction with another product which I obviously don't have. You're telling me I got a face scrub for the day 12. The big reveal, the big blood sugar palette. I got a flipping face scrub. Well, let's all get excited because I got my free facial scrubber by the brand Daily Concepts. But a open makeup brush and clearly two products from a Birch, um, a body shop advent calendar is not good. I'm sorry. I'm going to put it out there. I am not happy. Okay, so as you can see, she definitely did not receive the blood sugar palette from Jeffree Star, which obviously was noted to everybody prior to buying this box that they may not receive that item. But it seems as if she didn't receive an item that was even the equivalent of that value. In fact, she received a two-step skincare program, which only contained one step and wasn't even in English for her to read. That to me is somewhat of a safety concern, especially if you've got people who have skin issues 
shoes, who may not be able to use certain products that contain certain ingredients. So to have everything in a foreign language or to use a vendor that basically has everything in a foreign language is less than smart. Some of the items that soon to be Wilson unboxed on her channel has been seen elsewhere in Altoria's videos, which leads me to my next point. There is a YouTuber by the name of Just Nicole UK who put together like a really lengthy video. I've been liaising with her whilst I've been making this video myself and she's really cool, she's really dope. Definitely give her a subscribe. But she did an in-depth investigation but she has done PR unboxings as well as unboxings of calendars that she's bought or they may have been given to her in PR because obviously this is her shiznit. This is what she does. That have somehow found their way into these boxes. So take a look at this and I'll tell you what Altoria's defense was. Okay, I tried to trim down this video as much as possible. It is like a 30 minute video, but it is literally packed full of receipts. So I've shown the most important receipts that were shown, which is basically what people got on a day-to-day -day basis. So take a look at this. I'm sorry it couldn't be shorter. This is the Body Shop Moringa Shower Gel. It's a really nice big bottle. We've got the Body Shop Moringa Shower Gel. Again, this is something I haven't tried before. It looks quite floral. So we get to day five, and this is where things start to get a little bit strange. Lucy receives a Moringa body wash from the Body Shop, but I'd already seen Altoria unbox that in her Body Shop calendar. She stated she had never tried it before. If I'm buying a calendar from an influencer, I expect it to be their tried and tested products. The things that they love, that they want to share with their subscribers. The Allure Luxe Cameo uh, Feather Light Reusable Mink Effect Lashes. Oh gosh, these look so pretty. Pretty, feathery, dramatic. Um, they look proper fluffy. Ooh, lovely. These are the Elegant Touch Still the Night Nails. Eyelashes, they sent me a beautiful box full. Oh, I got loads of false nails to try out. This is from Elegant Touch. Yes, I just love this brand. It's such a good alternative. If you can't get yourself down to a nail salon to get your nails done, using these press on nails is just the most easiest alternative ever. A merch item and it is a pair of the tassel earrings. Um, it's earrings. I can give Len. Oh, <gasps> yay! Um, these are Altoria's signature um, tassel earrings. A number seven. I've never actually used anything by Soap and Glory before. Is Soap and Glory. This is butter yourself up after showering. I love a bit of Soap and Glory. The Soap and Glory Clean On Me. Calendar is £40 and you can get it from Boots and I'm going to leave the link down in the description. Soap and Glory have kindly helped me out with my own advent calendar this year and my video for that is going up on Sunday so make sure you set your alarms because you'll see how then. Now as I mentioned earlier, Eltoria has got an arrangement with Soap and Glory so I am assuming that they are working with her for this calendar, meaning all the products in the calendar from Soap and Glory are legally allowed to be there and also free. Bobby Brown smoky eye mascara, that is so weird. This is Day 10 and Lucy receives a miniature Bobby Brown mascara. It's advent calendar sized. Even though El Toria insists on having full size products in any calendar that she opens herself. What have we got? So we have the white musk body lotion um, and Willow gets a white musk body lotion from the body shop. Let's see what Eltoria thinks about getting that. Day number 18. So in this store we've got a white musk body lotion. Personally I don't like this scent. I've never liked the white musk scent from the body shop. Let's see if I still hate it. Oh it's improved. That's not as bad. Okay, no, I hate it. That just completely changes once it's on my skin. For some reason, this really doesn't settle nicely. Oh, this is mascara and an eye pencil. This is Urban Decay. I've heard of Urban Decay. Ooh. Um, and this is the big fatty. Paul Brandy's jukebox receives an Urban Decay mascara that's been discontinued now. 
that El Torio received in the following clip. Next item is an Urban Decay product and it's called Korg, uh, I almost said Corgi there, I don't even know why. It's called Big Fatty and it's a 24-7, I want to say mascara. It is full size mascara and travel size eye pencil. So you've got two products in there. So you've got a mascara and an eyeliner. And as you all know, Urban Decay is a bloody good brand. Guys, are you kidding me? Like, no. I've just opened, literally just opened this package on camera for you and this brush is open. Okay, right at the bottom here. So much better opening boxes. Oh, we got a makeup brush. So I think this is an eyeshadow brush. Yes, it is. So it's just a eyeshadow brush, a really good size actually. So it's not a miniature. Let me do the bristle test because we always do a bristle test on makeup brushes. Yep, super sturdy, that is not going anywhere. A lash comb brush, which I'd already decluttered and sold because I didn't want it. Now I've got another one. That's it's not good for it. Door number 15. I think it's another hand cream. Oh, I'm wrong. It's actually a spoolie. I call this a spoolie. What does everyone else call it? What does Body Shop call it? It's brow and lash comb. Okay, you could just call it a brow and lash comb. Another item which which hasn't got a seal on it like this is a natural lift highlighter pen beauty edit by mayfair a brow lift something or other got which i've just dropped on the floor hang on we've also got the brow lift what's the brow lift all about oh it's in like a little wooden Oh, that's quite cool. Oh no, it's a pencil. Okay, so this is the brow lift. So I guess this is where you sculpt around your eye eyelash. No, Eltoria, what's wrong with you? This is Elemis, um, and this is a superfood prebiotic night cream, and there's two of them. I wonder where Eltoria was a couple of weeks ago. I went to see the guys at Elemis, and they gave me the biggest bag of skincare ever. Slay done my skin a world of good it's not as dry anymore then finally we have a superfood night cream oh my god okay so here I have the pureology serious color care perfect for platinum door number three what's this oh okay so door number three we have a pureology uh, serious color care perfect for platinum shampoo shampooing it's literally says shampoo shampooing it's from douche this is a brand that i'm very familiar with because it's always in cohorted because it's super expensive um and this is in the shade lyra and it is a lip pencil that looks familiar first up we've got a lip definer pencil and it's in the shade Lyra. That is a gorgeous shade. It's very similar to the lipstick I have on, so I am definitely going to be using that, probably daily. Ooh. <gasps> is that Ooh, what you call right. iridescent? An iridescent makeup case, as seen here. It's pretty amazing. So first up, I've got this makeup bag. I wasn't expecting this. Why have I got this bag? Oh, it's because I've become a VIP. I've become a Birchbox VIP. Oh my God, okay. Does this mean I get like free stuff? To celebrate your six month anniversary, we've added an extra treat to your box this month for you to enjoy. That's pretty cool, I've become a VIP member. I've never become a VIP member in anything. Oh, this is so heavy. Quite heavy. <gasps> Oh my flinging. Now the story of how many palettes have been included has changed varyingly over the week. At first it was several, then it dropped down to five, and now apparently it is three. How many palettes are out there? We don't know. Size Claude de Claudel, Claude Del, Claude Del, uh, Vine Active, Glow Activating Anti-Wrinkle Serum. Um, 
finally I've got this product here. Now this is a Serum Anti-Rise Activator de Eclat. Oh, Makeup Revolution! Cool. I love Makeup Revolution. Favorite, so this is the blush palette. So we got this in last year's as well. Again, I've almost ran out of my other ones, so. Okay, so I can't even tell. I feel like I wanna cry. I honestly feel like I wanna cry. I can't even tell you what this product is because it's not in English. I got a flipping face scrub. And this one is the Ultra Contour Kit. Number 22. Oh, we've got my grandma smelling product and this is Body yogurt. Again, a new product. It seems quite new this year, which is great. So we're not getting any repeats. Oh, again, smells so good. Tweezers, eye set of brushes, a little eyebrow brush. Shit, be cray cray, right? Okay, so to add insult to injury, Altoria then went on to say on social media that she has liaised with and worked with various different companies who have given her these items to put inside her box. And that some of the items, such as the blood sugar palette, etc., uh, were gifts from her to her subscribers. She said this in her response video that she put up about two or three days ago. Type Titled Altoria Advent Calendar Behind the Scenes. Of the four mystery items which were also inside the calendar were treated like gifts from myself because I wanted you guys to try something new. Now obviously in this video the comments are disabled because she has been receiving a hell of a lot of flack on social media. Now I know a little something, something about consumerism and consumer rights. And what wasn't adding up to me was if so many of these products that have been unboxed on various different channels were PR that she has received from various different companies, she would legitimately be breaking the law as those items that were given to her were not available for resale. Unless that is, and this is me playing devil's advocate unless the companies explicitly stated that she was able to resell these items. So I decided to do a tiny bit of digging. I contacted Jeffree Star on social media because that was the most prominent thing that was involved in the Altoria catalogue to ask him if he had given consent for her to resell the items. And this is what he said to me. <clears throat> so I said, hello Jeffrey, I'm working on a story pertaining to a British YouTuber called Altoria. She has been selling advent calendars for 49 pounds in Britain. And a few of the calendars had your blood sugar palette in them. Now, I imagine that your palette isn't available for corporate resale or that you did not say that it was okay to sell. I'm contacting UK Trading Standards in the morning to hear what they have to say, but I wanted to get a confirmation from yourself that you did not authorize resale of your palette to her. Also, is she on your PR list? Because if it was a promotional item, that's even worse. Please let me know your thoughts, Pagey. And then he sent me a link, basically, that one of his staff members sent him to send to me, that is the list of all of the vendors and all of the wholesalers that are authorized to stock Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And then he said, hey love, I actually never heard of this person until now. My official retailers who carry and are authorized to sell my brand can be found here. I'm horrified to hear this because my trademark lawyer is constantly battling this issue. And it's sad what small companies do to brands that work hard. Who knows if she is selling fake products or real products? This is really scary. Let me know what you find out. Now, I know what you guys are gonna be thinking. Um, but Penny Page, she said that those items, the Jeffree Star blood sugar palette that she was sending out in some of her boxes, those were gifts from her to her subscribers. You can't catch her out on a gift, bitch. Well, usually I would be like, if it's a freebie, go ahead. But the problem is, is that this freebie came with a price tag. When she is selling the items, regardless of what is inside the items, they should be separated from the box itself. So, essentially, if you are buying something from, say, Sephora, and they give you a free sample product, that free sample product does not come a part of your purchase products. The problem is, is that when Altoria made this box with the 12 days of Christmas with 12 
items, that blood sugar palette was incorporated as one of those items. So essentially she was selling on the premise that you may get this item. The problem is, is that when you buy something, you can give it away as a giveaway. There are no rules in terms of that, apart from obviously stipulations on time periods and how long the recipient has to wait to get the items. There are all kinds of rules in that front, but in terms of actually giving away an item, there are no rules. Whether it's PR or otherwise, the only thing that you have to do is stipulate that it is in fact PR. However, with the Jeffree Star blood sugar palette, it would be considered as a resale. So if Jeffree Star has a set of vendors, in order to protect his business, he may want to, and this is not me saying that he will, but he may want to file a lawsuit on the individual who is selling his products without his authorization. It's like, Take it to, for instance, you go into the shop and you buy a multi bag of Walker's crisps. And then you open up the bag and each one of the bags of crisps has not available for resale on the top. That's because that item was meant to be sold as a group and not to be sold individually. Companies are very, very cautious when it comes to these kind of things purely because they have no control over what the recipient is getting. So say for instance, if the blood sugar palettes that she was sending out, not saying that this is the case, but say if the blood sugar palettes that she was sending out were fake Jeffree Star Cosmetics blood sugar palettes, then if somebody gets a sore eye or somebody is allergic to an ingredient that they didn't expect to be inside the product, then ultimately the blame would land on Jeffree Star and he might be on the receiving end of a lawsuit that had absolutely nothing to do with him. So brands are always very cautious when it comes to protecting their brand. The second people that it is that I reached out to was Body Shop UK. Now I contacted Body Shop via phone, I asked them if I could record the conversation, they said no. So unfortunately I don't have any tangible receipts in this front, however they have explicitly expressed to me that they do not have that kind of an affiliation with Altoria and the products are definitely not available for resale. So anybody who received any items from Body Shop UK in their Altoria box those items aren't available for resale she is breaking the law allegedly now i did reach out to several other companies in regards to the altoria calendar i literally reached out to every single company apart from one asked them if they had issued this as available for resale to altoria personally i'm gonna be honest not a single one of those companies got back to me it was long and it was very very annoying to do but I did it and I haven't received any information back. I have since received some messages from a few other companies. The only thing that they've said to me thus far is that they are looking into it. So I have no updates on that front. Now granted, when I did send in the message, it was Sunday and it might have been business hours that they'll get round to their emails and who's to know that they'll even get round to my email now. But if I do get any more confirmation from any more companies that she either has got consent to resell these items or hasn't got consent to resell these items, I will definitely keep you guys updated. So if all of that, was not bad enough that she is out here selling stuff that she's not supposed to sell, that she has no authorization to sell, that she is selling as part of a 12 item project. We now have the fact that a lot of people are unable to get refunds. It states on her Altoria website, which I will show you a photo of, that she does not accept refunds as this is a one off, once in a lifetime product kind of thing. So because of that, a lot of people have not been able to get a refund. The only thing that I can suggest to you guys to do is that if you are trying to get a refund and you pay by PayPal, there is a way on PayPal for you to retract your money back if a company does not fulfill their obligation. That's the one of the good things that I love about PayPal because they protect you first and then they deal with the vendor, wholesaler or whatever it is that you're buying from. However, if you pay by card, it may be a little bit difficult. You may have to contact your bank or whatever it is. If you do in fact want to, make an actual formal claim against this. However, I thought to myself, well, what can we actually do to solve this situation? So I contacted Trading Standards and basically they said, with this kind of a situation, it would be classified as fraud. How can I help? Okay, um, just to make you aware, I'm, I'm recording uh, this conversation just for my own, well, uh, well for my, myself, just so I can watch over the yeah. footage straight after, so. I just want to make you aware before I start saying anything or anything like that. Um, basically, there is a YouTuber online called Altoria, and she has been receiving um, a lot of PR um, in the post from various different brands. Um, and basically, she came out with a line of um, 
calendars at the end of the year and it's alleged that quite a few of these uh, calendars contained items that she was sent free in PR. Now, first of all, I'm, I'm of the understanding that PR cannot be used uh, for resale. Um, I'm of the understanding that that's illegal. Um, as well as her distributing re uh, non-resaleable items for a profit, I imagine that's illegal as well. I've got confirmation from one of the brands that she does not have the right to resale the item and they did not authorise that as a brand. Um, I'm just wondering what can be done. Okay, so if you bear with me one second, Paige, I'm going to speak to a colleague regarding this because it may, um, I'm not too sure where it would lie, whether it would lie under consumer or that kind of thing. Um, mm -hmm. Bear with me one second, I'm going to pop you on hold, it will go quiet but I will come back to you. Yeah, okay, no so problem. Don't think I've hung up. Right, <laughs> no you. problem, thanks. Right, I see, okay. Now, I think the best thing that I can do is actually give you the number to action for. Now, these I specifically deal with issues such as this, um, because obviously if I think they're not to be resolved and the souls aren't, then this can actually be kind of classified as fraud. So, do you have a pen and a piece of paper to hand there? Yeah. I can provide you with their number for this. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so their number is 0300. Okay, so I'm having to do a live chat system because action fraud don't take telephone numbers. But as the other lady said previously, this qualifies as fraudulent activity. So because of that, now we have to take it to the police and that's exactly what I'm doing. Now because of that, then they gave me a telephone number for a British company called Fraud Action UK. Or is it Crime Action UK? One of the two, can't remember. It was neither, it was action fraud, you stupid bitch. Anyway, I went onto there, I had a live chat with one of the people who work for that company. It's a part of the police force in the UK. And they've basically said that a form needs to be filled out and if they have time, unfortunately, it's, it's not a given. But if they have time, they will get round to contacting the person. They have given me a crime reference number. But in terms of that, that is literally the only thing that you can do in terms of getting your refund back, getting your money back. But it could be a long and strenuous activity if, in fact, you paid by card rather than by PayPal. Apparently, though, you can use your crime reference number in order to give that to your bank. Um, if you were to take it there and take it to um, Action Fraud, then you can use that crime reference number, give it to your bank, and the bank will recognise, or liaise with the police, find out that there is a crime uh, reference number attached to it, and they may be able to release your money sooner rather than later. Now, if all of that wasn't even bad enough, we now have the fact that people who are reaching out to Altoria, that she is now like having this weird kind of blackmail-ish, and I'm saying it ish because I don't know whether alleged, alleged, let's use that, alleged blackmail, uh, towards her subscribers who are simply just asking for a refund. And it's almost as if it's all too much for her and that they should be grateful that they are even receiving a refund from her. I will leave a screenshot to a conversation held by Altoria and one of her fans allegedly over here. Okay, and then to top it all off and just give it a nice big fucking rose gold Altoria bow on top of everything, her boyfriend, fiance, partner, is an absolute scumbag. He is being extremely rude to her fans and subscribers who are disappointed with her in this moment. Now, I understand that as a partner, of course, you just wanna come to the defense of the person that you love. However, on social media, it's not so easy. You can't go in there and bum rush and bully everybody. However, there is a bunch of receipts which I will leave on the side of me over here where he has been speaking ridiculously horrible to a bunch of her subscribers who are doing nothing but questioning Altoria on her business practice. He, just by association, makes Altoria look really, really bad. Just by the fact that he's not showing the level of remorse that she is allegedly showing, just makes her seem somewhat insincere. Like she might be acting remorseful, but in her own home with her partner, they're probably not acting that way. They're laughing all the way to the Milo piggy bank, bitch.
But beyond all of that, beyond all of the receipts, beyond consumerism, beyond trading standards, beyond your rights as a customer, beyond everything, is how many disappointed people are on social media talking about this young lady and it seems to me like she shows absolutely no remorse. In her response video where she talks about everything behind the scenes, she speaks in a way that I consider patronizing as fuck. It's almost like she's speaking phonetically so that you guys can understand what she's saying because clearly you did not get it the first time. That kind of stuff gets me so angry. I don't like it when people speak to me like a child. Now imagine speaking to your whole YouTube audience, all a hundred and odd thousand of them like children because you fucked up your shit. Nah, I'm not having it. Nah, bitch. Nah. Like I have not got any time for this. I am 27 years old. I am married. I have a mortgage. Nah, nah. I've got bills to pay. I'm sorry. I've got bills to pay. I'm not going to play around with this shenanigans. I was very fortunate enough to collaborate with some amazing brands and names. So I either had permission to use their products inside the advent calendar or I purchased them separately to put them inside the box. Collabing with brands is a very normal thing in advent calendars and even subscription boxes. It's a great way for brands and businesses to reach a new audience. You better talk to her before I do because I'm already feeling. How did I price my advent calendar? I actually did this based on the nine core items which were inside the box. So this actually came to a approximate worth of £58. Okay, so the first thing that sticks out in this clip that immediately sticks out to me is the fact that now the total value of the items involved in the box is a total value of £58.19. When originally, and I think it's still there on a website, it says it was priced at £49 and it was between £90 to £110 in worth in value. Is that including the blood sugar palette or without? That's one of the things that I was kind of questioning. For example, my candles were made out of soy wax, which is much more expensive. The fragrance was so much better. And each candle came with a handmade angel wing as well. So the actual candle was handmade, the angel wing on the top was handmade. And yeah, when you buy smaller units and from smaller businesses in the UK, things are gonna be a little bit more expensive than buying mass produced items from China. Okay, so let's dig into this and let's do a little bit of mathematics on this. So basically 90% of what's inside this box is either her own products that she stocks and sells. So their pricing structure may be inflated, but the amount of money she would have paid for those items is very cheap. For instance, the Altoria handmade candle that is valued at £11.95. Um, if we just take into account the packaging, uh, the wax, whether it was soy wax or otherwise, the incense, uh, which would have been the cookie incense, how much that's priced at, um, as well as the mould that was used for the angel wings on top and possibly colouring. Um, let's say at a very maximum for these candles, that would have cost her about £7 to make. That's an approximate valuation based on each candle. The next one is the Altoria tassel earrings. Now she is absolutely adamant that she makes these earrings herself. Um, I'm not so convinced. You can get uh, a bulk order of these earrings for $1.59 each. So we're talking about just under a pound per set of earrings that she has inflated the price to those for those earrings, sorry to £9.95. So we're talking about the cost it that takes for her to actually make the box. So far it's not looking so good. The Milo pop socket, I've seen uh, printed personalised pop sockets online that you can buy in bulk for companies etc for £2 per unit, so that's an inflation of another £10. Uh, the Prezi box handmade bath melt, that was valued at £2.50. She has stated that some of the items were collaborative items with her and companies and some of the items were actually purchased by her, but like I said previously, even if some 
something has been purchased by you doesn't necessarily mean they're available for resale but it might be the case that the company are very much aware that she's reselling the items but that if that is the case then she definitely would not have had a normal retail value price of £2.50 that doesn't make any sense if she was doing a bulk order of 150 units then I would imagine that she would have got a significant discount on that so let's bring that down to say about 70 pence per unit approximately if she's a good bargainer the soap and glory the jenna face mask the ilio ash lashes the elegant touch nails the bloom town handmade lip balm and the mad beauty face mask according to her were all pr items that she has sold on as part of this uh, pr package according to this video that she's made therefore all of these items allegedly should be free so in essence we have got all of these figures here are obviously approximate estimates but as you can see here the total take home if we were to go according to Altoria's words herself would be approximately and this is very approximate £5,138 total profit so I think if she's taken home that amount of money for something that she put together on a whim um, which we can see from this receipt over here when she was doing some market research then at the very least she can treat her subscribers who are having a few problems with her items with a lot more respect than she has thus far at the very fucking least the point of the matter is and this is the point that she needs to get is that people are upset you hurt people there are people who have spent their last few coins making sure that they can get your item i saw a video the other day if i can find it i'll post a receipt but i saw a video the other day where a young lady was saying oh i bought this because i thought i'll treat myself because 50 pounds for a calendar is a lot of fucking money so i went ahead and bought the box which was £50, I think, plus your shipping. Um, so, yeah, not very cheap and not something I would usually splash out on, but I thought I would treat myself. And then to top that off, one of the receipts that I received in my DMs really, really made me upset. And then I realised, in fact, this is not about YouTubers. This is not about exposés. This is about actual real fucking humans. And a lady posted up on somebody else's video regarding this and said... I bought this for my 12 year old because she had just passed a really hard exam. It was a treat. When all this kicked off, I thought I better check it before I give it to her as I didn't want her upset. Thank God I did. It was absolute junk. I have already been through her channel and have spotted two items in my calendar that she already opened in her videos. She has started deleting videos with the products that have appeared in other people's videos and I'd already downloaded them. I can't believe her cheek. I'm so angry. My daughter is no one's cheapo. I used to like her last year but now I can't stand to look at her. I've taken legal advice and plan to take it further. Thanks for the video you girls are funny and I've subscribed. That was real. That was real as hell. That was somebody who was like you know what my daughter she passed a really hard exam. I am so proud of you. I'm gonna get you this as a lovely little gift to round off your year because you've earned it. You've worked so hard for it bitch. And then to find out that all of the items that are in there was garbage and that wasn't really going to be a treat at all for her daughter. These are the people that you're playing around with. Whilst you're sitting there in your house with your ex extravagant exotic pig. I don't know if... Can pigs be exotic? I don't know. But with your, with your pig in your house and your happiness and all of that kind of stuff, you're taking away real hard earned cash from consumers, from people who have nine to fives, who have jobs, who consider something like this, spending this amount of money that they entrusted in you as a treat. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Tell me what it is that you guys think. Do you guys think that Altoria really needs to sit down and properly own up to her shit or at least sit down and apologize because for the most part she has been an unproblematic youtuber sit down and apologize and say dudes i screwed up i was in above my head and i made some bad decisions people would respect that a lot more than what she's doing right now and what her partner is doing take 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 the fucking phone away from your partner take it away take it away from him he is helping nothing he's making you look a billion times worse by association oh do you think that this was just a Or 
what? Do you think that this is a complete and utter miscommunication that has happened between herself and her subscribers? And also that she didn't necessarily understand the law, the university law graduate, didn't understand the law when it comes to consumerism and all of that malarkey. Tell me what it is that you guys think in the comment section down below. I personally think that Altoria really did mess up this time and I will definitely give updates if any of the other companies get back in touch with me and tell me explicitly whether she did have authorization to resell these items. Because we're messing with expiry dates on products and all kinds of things that could really, really F up somebody. And I personally believe that this is a very, very dangerous game that she's playing, trying to resell things in the manner of which she is trying to resell them. But that is my humble, alleged, alleged, I gotta keep saying that word, opinion, opinion. <laughs> opinion but don't take my opinion for it because i'm just petty Mwah. bye too much money in the bank i ain't trying to play no games fuck i hate to go on set i be on my hustle all day little bitch stay in your place motherfucker i'm paid too much money in the bank i ain't trying to play no games fuck i hate to go on set i be on my hustle all day little bitch stay in your